Hey guys, it's Lorena, and I'm here to show you my Polynesian eye makeup look. And before we get started, yes, I just got out of the shower, my hair is wet, um, but my face has already been moisturized, and we're going to get started on this look. I apologize for just now getting this video up. For those who follow me on Snapchat, y'all know the reason why. Um, so... And, hey, and if you want to follow me on Snapchat too, you can find my name. I'm going to try to put it like right here. It's Lorena IDA. And um, over there on Snapchat, you get to see kind of the things that I do when I'm not doing belly dance stuff. So check that out if you want. But without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to talk through this time with d doing my eye makeup. So let me know if you like it when I talk through it and do it pretty much live here in front of you, or if you like it when I do it and then I have my voice over. Let's get started. First and foremost, if you do wear contacts, go ahead and put those babies in. I'm not gonna torture y'all by having y'all watch me put mine in, so let's just take a little break and we both go put our contacts in, okay? Okay, contacts are in, let's get started. And the sun is coming in on this way, so I'm gonna go ahead and start zooming y'all in so you can see exactly what I'm doing on my eyes. So first and foremost, I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with the Smash Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finishing Shadow Primer. Woo! And so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my finger, like just a smidgen, not much at all. Rub that on both of my fingers and go ahead and pull out that sucker right on the lid and on the upper brow bone. And do the same on the other side. If y'all see me looking up, it's just to make sure that y'all can see me doing what I do. Y'all are gonna be so surprised on how easy this look is. So for Polynesian looks, it's a very natural look. So we're not gonna go for a deep, dramatic, blacks and grays type of look like belly dances is going to be totally different. So first thing we're going to do is take our Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush. Any blending brush will do. And I'm going to take my Hoola bronzer. Again, any bronzer will do. And I'm just going to tap that in there, tap off the excess, and go in and just blend in the crease all the way Kind of like in the other video, just windshield wiper motions from one side to the other. And then you can also make little circles. We're just trying to get our transition color, which is, this is not really acting like a transition color. This is actually acting like a primary color for this look, but it still gives us a base to work with. So basically, you just blend until you feel like your hand's gonna fall off. But it makes a huge difference. So what I do is I put on Pandora on my cell phone and I'll do this for a whole entire song. And for those who'd like to know, I listen to the um, Celine Dion channel. I go between that one and the Backstreet Boys channel. I know, okay? I know. And just work it in that crease in your windshield wiper motions and little circles. We just don't want any harsh lines. That's the whole point in blending. And if you're wondering why my eyebrows look totally janky right now, it's because I am growing them out for y'all so I can show y'all how to do or how I do my eyebrows as far as plucking and shaping and filling them in. I had some interest with that so that's what we'll be doing. Now I'm going to take this color by Estee Lauder. It's called Kitten Hill Shimmer. It's kind of like a rose gold shimmery color. As you can see, I'm hitting pan on this one. I love it. But any kind of rose gold iridescent shimmery color will do. Does not have to be this exact one. So I'm going to take the F75 concealer brush from Sigma or 
more preferably, if you have a packing brush, you should use that one. So I'm going to just coat both sides of the brush in this wonderful goodness we have right here. And I'm going to take it and literally just pack on the color on the lid. So I'm just going to pack this on and I'm going to get make sure I get really close to the lash line and just pack, pack, pack away. I'm going to flip that brush over because we put the pigment on both sides and continue to pack. And you don't want to go too much above the crease because we really just want this color on the lid. Okay, now that that side's done, you do the same exact thing on the other side. We're going to put the color on one side, flip it, pack it on on the other side of the brush, and go to town with packing on this lid. If you want to, you can take your fingers very gently and pull the skin taut while you're packing this color on. Again, get really close to the lash line, flip that brush over, and continue to pack on. This look too is good for just an everyday look if you're going to work or whatnot. Okay, now I'm going to show y'all a little bit more of the drama if you want to add that. I'm going to go in with the very sexy Roll Play Loose Shimmer Powder. Same packing brush and I'm just going to go over the color we just put down with this color. This is actually just kind of like a little highlighter color that maybe you would put on the cheeks or on the chest to highlight some of that. But we're just going to pack this right on top of the eyeshadow we just laid down. I'm going to take the Clinique Dusty Vintage color. It's just like a taupe color. With the E25 Blending Brush from Sigma. Just going to dab in that. And go right in the crease. I have hooded eyes so I'm going to take the skin like we said gently pull taut and go right in that crease. Now you do not have to do this step. This is to give more dimension and more dramatic because it is a performance. We can't forget that. So I would personally put in this step, but if you were doing this just like an everyday look, you can totally skip this. But this is going to give the eye more dimension and more drama. Now we're going to do the same thing over on the other eye. Again, y'all let me know if y'all like me talking with you while I'm doing it versus the voiceover. Again, this is going just right in the crease. And we're blending out. And this step is for if you want more drama which we all have a little bit of belly dancer in us. So why not more drama? Going to take our E35 Taper Blending Brush, no product on it whatsoever, and I'm just going to go back and blend and soften all of this up. Won't take much. Just blending, and blending, and blending. Now, guess what folks? That's it for color. Now, we're gonna go in with the lashes. You can curl your eyelashes, eyelashes if you want. We're just gonna be putting lashes on though, like fake lashes, so you can skip that step if you want. So I'm just going to give this couple coats on the bottoms and the top. Don't bother doing your bottom lashes yet. Although if you've put, 
if you've put your foundation and stuff on first, you can go ahead and do coat your bottom lashes. But since I don't, I do my foundation and all that last, I am not going to put, I'm not going to coat my bottom lashes yet. See these places where the mascara has gotten on there? I'm going to give y'all a little trick. Just let it dry. Don't worry. Life isn't over. We're going to let these little spots dry and I'll be right back and show you the trick. Okay, so now we let those little places dry. We're going to take just a Q-tip. Nothing's on the Q-tip. And watch. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No pain. No mess-ups. Yeah, if you just let mascara dry, it'll just flake right off with a little Q-tip. Now we're going to put on our fake eyelashes. Um, hopefully everyone knows how to do that. If you don't, let me know and I'll make a video. I'm going to put on my lashes and be right back. And we're back. And this is the look. So I did not put any eyeliner on whatsoever. This is, this is it. And it's a very nice, um, natural look for your Polynesian gigs or performances, whether you're doing hula, Tahitian, or anything like that. Um, very natural, very authentic. So I'm going to go and do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. I'm back and I have done my face, my contouring, my eyebrows. Again, if you want to have a video on that in detail, let me know. I don't mind doing that. So we're going to finish our eyes. Such an easy look, right? And we're going to take this Clinique color again and we're going to take our handy dandy Lauren Luke pencil brush. Dab in there and we're going to buff that color all along the lower lash line. So we're going to do the same thing to the other side and just smoke that out. And then we're going to take our mascara. Any mascara will do. This is L'Oreal. I don't really like this for lower lashes because of how thick the wand is. It, it, it's just, it just makes it difficult. So, but hey, so a skinnier wand would be better for lower lashes, but hey, we work with what we got. So we're going to go in and put mascara on our lower lid, our lower eyelashes. We're not going to put eyeliner on. Again, we're trying to go all natural. So we're not going to do that. You could put a white liner in the waterline if you wanted to. I'm not. Just not. We're going to go back with the pencil brush and kind of smudge this out. You could do the Q-tip trick that we just did. But why when you could use that color right there? All right. So I hope y'all liked this look, everyone. Again, a very natural look for every day or your Polynesian gigs. Give this a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button wherever it is to get more helpful belly dance or Polynesian looks. Again, comment below to see anything else or to let me know anything else you'd like to see. Bye guys!